treat myself, treat myself. I'm going to treat myself to some McDonald's, some nugs. I don't know if I'm getting a 10 piece or a 20 piece. What are you saying? I got to talk about to my channel. <laughs> Your next she's retarded. She didn't even say it. I'm not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> March 11th, it's 1010. My math class starts at 1010. And I have a test today. So the test starts right now. And, um, yeah, we're just, that's how we're starting off this day. So I can't, I need to just leave. I need to put some pants on and leave right right now so i'll catch y'all after the test i can't i can't <sighs> let me tell you why i just failed that test and i know you're gonna be like tori you say that about every test you take but this one I know for a fact because for the first question, like it was only three questions, but it was like, it's kind of work. It's, it takes a lot of work. That's why it was only three questions because each question take you like 10 minutes to complete, you know? First of all, you know, I woke up late. I woke up at the time the class started, so I didn't get to class till like 10.25, 10.30. Working the first problem, blah, blah, blah. Doing all the work, yada, yada. Finish the truth table. And then I look at the question, I look at the statement again, the question. And I'm like, there's another way you could write this. So now I'm battling in my mind, like, what's the right way like is the right way what I just wrote or is the right way what I just thought of and if if you've ever taken any tests in your life you know that that internal battle is like the worst like what's the right answer and I was too lazy to do the whole problem again with the new thing that came in my mind. So I said, epic. I wrote what I wrote and that's what he gonna read. So that question was 12 points. I got zero out of 12. <laughs> I got zero out of 12. What they got over here? Kebab. They want ten dollars for a kebab. What buy? Oh, let me hurry up. The light, the light. Uh, uh got the timer on it. So yeah, miss question one. All up in the street after the timer. <sighs> and at this point, I'm just like, F it. I ain't brushing my teeth. I'm like, ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, okay, it is nasty, but I was gonna, I was gonna miss the whole class, so didn't brush my teeth. I have on my pajama shirt with a jacket, some sweatpants, and Uggs, and my hair pulled back. And it's Wednesday. That's that's the kind of life I'm living right now. So, yeah, I don't even know where I'm going. Where am I going? I need to go whole opposite direction. Wow, Tori. Oh, I could cut through here. I was like, where am I going? 
I need to go turn in my, they're doing free passports, so I need to go turn in my birth certificate to the bunch center so I can get my passport. Almost got hit by a car twice. What is going on in my life, guys? So yeah, that's where I'm at in life right now. Test two of three complete. Test two of three that I feel like I fail. I think that's just, it is what it is. I don't even care. We're the last school, meanwhile, we're the last school in the DMV to remain open. All the other schools have shut down for at least three weeks or more for the coronavirus. So on top of not being prepared, on top of not having brushed my teeth this morning and putting on actual clothes, I now have to go to Walmart and buy boxes to try and pack up as much of my life as possible because when I leave for New York on Friday, there's a possibility that I won't be allowed back on campus because it's gonna be closed. So I need to bring as much stuff, as many clothes, as whatever, whatever, as I can. And I have what, two days to do that? So yeah, I'm almost at the Bunch Center. I feel like I've earned myself a Starbucks, but I really haven't earned it, if you know what I mean. Like I've been through a lot, so I've earned it that way but I failed my test, so I didn't earn it. So we'll see what happens. I'm almost at the Bunch Center. It's like 12 or 11 now. I have a test, I have my last test, poli sci, research in poli sci at 410. And I just know that that's gonna go horribly. I'm not even trying to front. That's gonna go horribly. So I'll, okay hey guys life update is basically 220 um after i brush my teeth I was supposed to study, but then my stomach started hurting, so I took a nap. So from I just took a nap from like 12 to 2. Um, my test is at 4:10, so I'm about to go to the lounge and try to look over it. Um, so that's what I'm about to do. Grabbing my textbook i don't even know if you guys can read it because it's backwards but textbook some note cards that i made am i gonna change out of my pajama top before i go to class probably not it's just been it's just that it's just is what it is okay She wasn't, she's not in this one either, but I'm tired of walking. And wow, see, when I told you things don't go as planned, when I said things don't go as planned, things don't go as planned. Just as I was about to study, I get a text from Mia and she says, we're gonna be home until April 6th. So basically Howard has now decided to shut down because of the coronavirus. So um, when I leave on Friday, which will be March 13th, I won't be back until April 6th. So almost a month, a little, a little over three weeks maybe. I'm just eyeballing it, but I'll show you the text message if it'll focus. It's backwards. I don't know why. I'm going to have to fix that. I don't know how to make it. Whatever. But. So I need to. I need to start packing. Like I don't even care about this test anymore. Because we're not going to have school. Like. 
I need to go to Walmart and get packing stuff so I can pack because my last class is April 29th so now I don't know if that's pushed back I don't know if that's the same I was gonna start packing in April but now I don't have that time or as much time so um yeah because basically when we come back April 6th is gonna be finals like so I really need to get my life together and this is kind of surreal right now um, I'm gonna be texting her and trying to study at the same time, but at this point I'm like F it, whatever, I don't care. Like, whatever. So let's get to it. My lips so chap. My face. I got it's not a rash, it's a um y'all probably like, what's that on her neck? It's not a rash. It's um I have cystic acne. So sometimes I have like cystic acne flare ups and like 99.9 .9 times out of 10 they leave like really bad marks and discoloration so these this is from the last flare up I had um the faint marks and stuff on my face is from the last flare up so like right now I'm acne free because I have flare ups so like I will have a flare up it'll leave, it'll leave scars but then my face will be like acne free so like right now my face is acne free I don't have any bumps on it but because of the scarring, it looks like I do, right? But, you know, life. So let me try to study because I got, I got, I got other stuff to be doing. This day. Hey guys, yes, I'm still in my pajama shirt, don't judge. It's my regular shirt for today. Um, it's like 3.58, 4 o'clock. I'm just now leaving my room. My class starts at 4.10. I got my V8 Energy. I really like it, it's good. It tastes like juice and it gives me energy as opposed to the monster addiction that I had. I used to drink in high school, I used to drink a cup of coffee and monster every, and a monster every day. I, I had it bad, I had it bad. So, this is a little bit healthier alternative. And we're just gonna walk to my last midterm. wasn't as bad as I thought let's all the tests that I thought were gonna be easy was actually pretty difficult and then the test this test I thought was gonna be super difficult actually wasn't too bad the two girls on the side of me dig it cat my brain is literally fried so yeah it wasn't that bad I think that I at least got a C maybe even a B because then you also have to think like, okay, it's true or false. Like, it's a 50-50 chance. And the ones that I didn't know, I just, I only had two options, true or false. So I either got it right or I got it wrong, you know? So I'm actually feeling a little bit good about, not good, but you know, I'm not like filled with dread. I'm glad it's over, done with. I'm not gonna see him. This class, we meet once a week, every Wednesday for two hours. And because of the coronavirus, like quarantine or whatever, like we don't, like they shut down school till the 6th, right? So, excuse me, April 6th. So I won't see him for like three weeks, four weeks, including spring break. So that means we're gonna have to go through the book on our own. He said he's gonna post stuff on Blackboard, like the PowerPoints on Blackboard. But he said that his schedule's not changing. So our next test is April, our next and last final test is on April 29th. Whether that's gonna be online or in class depends on the school, you know, whatever Howard decides. Um, but I'm done. Ah! Done with the done terms, done with tests, done with fake studying. 
because we all know that I wasn't studying for real. Let's just get that straight. We all know I wasn't studying. So I'm going to treat myself, treat myself, treat myself. I'm going to treat myself to some McDonald's, some nugs. I don't know if I'm getting a 10 piece or a 20 piece. But after that, I'm going to go pack for spring break slash quarantine. I'm going to try to just bring like as much of my clothes home as possible. So basically like all of them. Um, I don't have any classes tomorrow. My teachers cancel class for Thursday and Friday. So I don't have any classes for the next two days. I'm basically on spring break starting now, but still at school. Um, I have... Alright, I'm back from Crackhead McDonald's. It smells so bad in there. It smells like booty, weed, homelessness. It's just, I, when I go in there, I don't breathe. I just go, you can't see, but I'm not breathing. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm just walking back to the door. Crossing the street. And, um, I'm going to rest my nerves, y'all. So y'all probably won't see me for the rest of the day. So I just want to take this time and say, see you later, alligator. <laughs>